half to two hours a day. They contribute 11% of the total product. Here, the censorship of the peer group proves more effective than adult discipline, which is seldom, if ever, exercised. The younger children have a small farm of their own, which gives the kids a chance to play. experiences. The milk will be made into cheese. The ducks will soon be eaten. happiest and most natural of childhoods. Through the eighth grade, children are taught in their own houses by nurse educators, who may have been with them from kindergarten. The Sabras grow up together as brothers and sisters. By the age of 13, they are a tightly knit group, preparing for their advent into adult society. Next year, they will join the adults in the main dining room and live in cottages of their own. Having been given responsibility from babyhood, they now regulate their own lives. The high school, drawing students from neighboring kibbutzim, offers a new social experience. Teacher specialists conduct a wide variety of classes and, as in the lower grades, there are no exams, no grades, no failures. In this progressive school, each learns according to his interests and abilities. Special training at the Hebrew University has qualified Yosef to teach advanced physics. A student committee arranges work hours to fit the kibbutz need and the busy schedule of the individual. At the age of 18, every Israeli serves in the army. Boys for two and a half years, girls for two years. The army is the great melting pot where Israeli citizens from varied cultural backgrounds find that they are one people. Dafna is a border settlement where everyone is trained to take cover in case of emergency. And to hold his ground in case of invasion. Running a kibbutz takes plenty of muscle. But our 
artistic development is also fostered. And intellectual pursuit is open to all. After work hours and on the Sabbath, parents have time to enjoy their children. Work begins early in the morning and ends in mid-afternoon. its own theater and gymnasium. Celebrations which are part of the Jewish heritage are held throughout the year. As in centuries past, the symbolic cutting of the first wheat at the time of the Passover. Five years, Yosef and his fellow pioneers have seen their kibbutz grow to fulfillment. seen their dream realized, their children and grandchildren prepared to carry on. Here in this ancient land where Judaism, Christianity, and Mohammedanism have their common heritage can be found the embodiment of man's highest ideals. Who is an honorable man? He who honors mankind.